there, man. Got some organic trio fruit and birch water. Hey, that sounds like something we should we should uh, review. I agree. Are there cups that are in here? Or? Oh yeah, maybe want to grab some in the cupboard. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're back for another water review, snap, sip, score, cabin edition. As you can see, we have a change of scenery, a beautiful fireplace out here. Uh, we're just here for the weekend, relaxing, enjoying the uh, the woods, the serenity, uh, the lake. But we thought we'd get you guys a water review. Up here in the north, north woods of Minnesota, we found ourselves a little birch water. Birch water, Zach. Birch like the tree. Yeah. Does the water come from the tree? Why don't you tell us with some bottle highlights? Well, first thing to note is this is a flavored water. Mm -hmm. Uh... Hint, hint, expanding our, what you call it? Our reach, our menu. Yeah, or, what you want to call it. So it says salad. organic trio, fruit and birch water, strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. um, settling is natural, shake well. Tapping responsibly prolongs the life of our trees. So drinking trio is also good for our forests. Well, That's good. That's what we like to see. And finally... Um, well, it's vegan, gluten-free, it's a good source of vitamin C, powered by Burst Tree Water. Tap into a bottle of Trio, the amazingly delicious, low-calorie, low-sugar, organic fruit drink that's powered by birch water. We love hand-tapped U.S. birch water because it's naturally sweet and contains minerals, micronutrients, and electrolytes. I'm wondering how we can get our hands on a bottle of some uh, hand-tapped U.S. birch water. we got to look at that because that's what this is powered by. Yes. So they do take it straight from the tree. Let's see if we can find some magnesium on here. It's not looking like it. Which no is magnesium from the birch. Which sad reality. Makes sense, because if you think about where water normally comes from, it's sourced from a rocky area. Maybe some more magnesium, but trees, I don't believe, but have magnesium in them. It does say that it contains minerals, micronutrients, and electrolytes. So that could be all incorporating. I'm interested to see what um, we get here. We got our cabin cups. Uh... Camp style. I'm gonna hit you guys with a snap, and we'll get a pour. Mm. Oh, that was a powerful like a bop, explosion. Bop. Explosion of a snap. Ready. A little bit more colorful than normal waters. This kind of looks like cactus water. This is on the same level as cactus water, um, for sure. Kind of expanding what we're doing a little bit. Um, you can hear it crackle. Can you? You can. Almost like Pop Rocks. Uh, kind of a cool bottle. This was recommended to us. We stopped in a pizza place up here. And the lady said, oh, you got to try this. This is the only way I can get my kid to drink water. Um, which is kind of weird because water is kind of a normal thing to drink. But uh, what, yeah. whatever you're going to do to get your kid to drink water, birch water might be it. If you give this a little bit of a smell, it sounds like those fruit roll-up sticks. I think mm. they're just called fruit sticks. Yeah. Is that what they are? That sounds about right. Yeah, it smells just like those little strawberry ones. Uh, I'm personally a fan of it, but not everyone knows. Nice, so. Yeah, but uh, we got a few bubbles, pretty clear. Um, okay. I'm ready to give it a cheers. Let's do it. Dink it. That is game changing. It makes you almost, it's like a, a sour thing. You feel it in your cheeks, but it's not sour. But it just hits you hard. It's got a strong flavor to it. But it holds the flavor. It doesn't water it down at the end like the cactus water did. Yes, very true. This is what I'd say would be a replacement for like your LaCroix of the world, your carbonated waters. Carbonated water needs a replacement. It could be. And trio, organic trio water is making that happen. That's crazy. This is so good. So yeah, I wonder if they do make unflavored birch water that's going to be something we're going to have to look into because the strawberry flavor is very pre predominant mm -hmm. um it's made in canada so okay. up here in minnesota close to the border although it does take the u.s birch water oh so u.s and canada working together just like world war ii um i think you only get one net carb per serving, so it's a little bit on the bottle. Two. So that's only two carbs. Two carbs in here. That's a carb burrito, us. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. 
It's a little bit more unhealthy than water, because water, you don't get carbs. You just yeah gain weight, water weight. But then you pee it out. Yeah. So or fine. burn it off. Yeah. So Sweat you it out. Weight. But this gives you um, carbs. So this is mostly water. It says 3% organic juice. So, so 97%. 97%. Water is what my math would be telling me on that. That's like the Earth. Mm -hmm. Or us. Right? One of those two. One of the two is 97% um, water. Yeah, so I think I'm ready for a score. How are you going to score? I'm interested to see how you score this. Yes. Um, well, I think profile-wise, what it does for water, breaking down the borders of what water can be, um, and kind of as a replacement to a LaCroix, a kind of healthy option, organic, flavored, naturally sourced birch water. If you don't like the carbonated water, um, I personally don't. I think this is a great alternative for you. Um, I don't think it replaces normal water for me, but for what it is, I'd give it a 14.5. 5 flavored slash fruity water scale. Yes. Um, this is so good because it maintains its flavor. It's chilly. It's nice. Uh, on the fruity and flavored water scale, replacing the uh, stereotypes of what fruity water needs to be. Mm -hmm. um, this is very good. I'm going to give it a 15-3. All right, Carter this with an average of here. And that's and, an uh, average of... Guys, next time. That's a review. From the cabin. Uh, that's how you do water.